Hi everyone, welcome to Chatterbox Reviews. I'm your host Tanya, and with me today is my lovely husband Stanley, and we're doing a spoilers review on Batman vs Superman. Tell me what you think. I think that this was great to start off with. It seemed a little jumble through certain bits and pieces, mm -hmm. but a lot of unnecessary stuff. I still love some of the scenes in it, the fight scenes, the reintroduction to Bruce Wayne. I think Affleck sort of nailed it, but this is a very different Batman, and I can't take him the way that I've taken the animated series and, and all the other incarnations, like, you know, Christian Bale and stuff. This is something I've got to warm up to, and I'm not... What my problem was, was they just kind of threw everything at you and just, you know, yeah. it all out there. I was like, what is that? What is this? What's happening? It, it gives you a few questions, but also I kind of like, all right, I accept it. Like, all right, this is the Batman that's, you know, sort of like get the job done fine whatever uh we see like that fallout for you know clark dealing with the ramifications of like you know man of steel but also struggling with like you know i'm not the only hero in town you know there's this bat guy and stuff i was worried like going into it when i went to go see it first time yeah. off i was like holy crap this is gonna make superman or batman look like a real dick and it sort of did give them both dick moments and i was a little bit upset with that because you know with um batman just punching away at superman i'm like you know, leave him alone he's there to ask for help but then like superman just like you know if if the signal goes up in the air then don't ever freaking go to it like the bat is dead and i'm like why are you being an asshole to him like yeah. he's, he's i like my you know boy scout type superman. yeah i like the superman who's like you know it, the superman i know would have ripped open that thing and just looked at him and said are oh, you all right okay don't do this anymore because it's really getting on my nerves well, it's dangerous work what yeah you're, you're gonna get yourself hurt or you're gonna hurt someone else yeah. in the process or something it just didn't seem like the the superman, superman was too brooding too too angry yeah but that's that's just a minor complaint i think henry cavill is a great yeah. great freaking you know he is superman for me I accepted him in like you know Man of Steel. Like obviously everyone's like, oh he broke Sword's neck, oh he killed all those people, and it's like, no, he <laughs> saved everyone in that city, and he's taken the blame for it. I thought this was going to be a little bit more for redemption for I don't him. Know. Once you kill him, man, you can't go back. I mean, he died to save everyone in this one. By the end, it it's sort of like he's coming that was back. Cool. That's what I I sort of love. He was like self sacrificing and stuff like. But then it, it's that, death is Superman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just the, the the idea of like you know Batman's like, oh, why are you saying Martha? And it's like, oh, it's his mother. Like you know, Lois is showing up out of nowhere. I'm like, all right, yeah, I'll, I'll take that, whatever. And then he's like, all right, I'll go and help your mother. I'll find out and stuff. I like, promise you, Martha will not die. Yeah, just cutting so quick to him going to save her now, and I'm like, all right. I had such big issues with this movie. Yeah, it was it was it was tough, but at the same time, I had so much fun like watching mm. certain scenes. Yeah, that reveal good. with Wonder Woman coming in when she blocks that, you know, Doomsday and stuff. I was that's another thing I was sort of upset with, but I was like, all right, you know, Doomsday's here, whatever. They made him out of Zod's, you know, corpse and stuff. I, I had a feeling Lex's blood. Yeah, that's that was another the kind of all right. So he's got control of the ship already. So much for Kryptonian freaking like stuff, but then again, Zod uploaded his. Well, he sliced off his um, fingerprints from Zod and yeah. gained access to the ship. And we're like, whoa! I was like, okay, I sort of get it and stuff, but just the fact that as well that Lex had found out not only Superman's true identity, Clark Kent, he found out his mother's name, and it doesn't really explain how he did that. And he doesn't explain world, how... World of super media and computers and stuff, but so... Still, I would have liked that little bit of just, you know, how he got there. Instead of just going, Clark Kent, very, that's your mum. Yeah, you very... got one hour, either kill Batman or your mother's dead. Like, I thought Tess either Mercer... Way, <laughs> Tess Mercer would have run up to Lex and said, like, you know, look at this, show him a laptop or an iPad or something, and 
he just goes, well, hello, Mrs. Mother of Superman or something. Something like that. But that's just a stupid little complaint of mine, like certain scenes where... Even just the fact you know, that Superman knew who Bruce Wayne was. Yeah, all of a sudden he's like, Bruce! And I'm like, so when did you x-ray vision under his mask? Like, yeah. why couldn't they have just shown that? Yeah. Like, And why couldn't they have just shown, like, you know, Batman having a little tracker on Superman's suit? But those are the small issues. Yeah, the bigger little, ones are, it's messy. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a mess. All over the show. It's fun. It's Like I came out of, going, it's okay. It's yeah, it's, I it's right. I went in with low expectations and I wanted it to be awesome and surprise mm. me. Make holy crap, this is epic! Mm. And yes, there is some epic scenes in it, some but good ones. but I go in for those movies where it's yeah. sort of this is an amazing movie. It just happens to be a comic movie, mm. and I understand that this is a reintroduction to you know Batman. And for the first time, introducing Wonder Woman and Aquaman and Cyborg and Flash, which was kind of unnecessary, like, you know, for me. But it was still fun to see. I love seeing those characters there. And it's a setup for Justice League. It's just so slow and a little bit boring at the beginning. And it just took too long to. What's, what's to some get of the going. positives? Can you well, pick out? Well, the positives were Wonder Woman. She was awesome. Yeah. Like, uh, she did really well. I loved her. The fight scene at the end, I really liked. Um, the fact that they went into the death of Superman, which is also a comic book, um, was really good as well. Yeah, I mean, that whole doomsday deal with, like, yeah, he does kill Superman, and it sort of teases that bit at the end with, oh, he's going to come out of the coffin and stuff, but that's such a rush for me because there's so much more story there, but I think they're... They're going from a, a walking pace to running now to yeah. sprinting like, as I fast as they can. I would love the big fight scene at the end to maybe take a little longer or, you know, show a little bit more of, you know, outside looking in on the, the epic fight that's happening and, you know, just, just all that kind of stuff and sort of just, it felt a little rushed to me. Yeah. I just wanted more of that. Yeah, that nuke scene, when he's uppercutting oh, Doomsday yes. out of the atmosphere, I'm like... I can't believe I'm actually watching, yeah, like, you know, this. Life. All in all, this was worth seeing in the cinema. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Zack Snyder, like, I I love 300. I think that's a great movie. And he's, you know, done a great Watchmen kind of feel. I like those. I don't really like this slow motion feel that he puts into all his flicks. But yeah. still, too, at the end of the day... I enjoyed myself. Yeah, it was like a good movie. it was, like, it I was came fun. Thinking it was a really like movie. there was some problems. Like the it it had some human moments in it when he's like you know saves that girl out of the building. Like Superman, and they're all putting their hands on him. Like you know, oh thank you so much and stuff. That was sort of nice. The humor didn't really work for me, but when it did have some funny moments, I'm like, all right, that's mm. that's kind of cute. Like that's cool. But um, all in all, I. I'm looking forward to Wonder Woman next yes. year. I'm going to be surprised if they do go ahead with Justice League. I think the rumours of them delaying Justice League next year and replacing it with a Batman solo movie, I think that's probably going to end up happening because the reviews for this have been pretty harsh. And I think it's, it's a little bit too harsh because this is the second movie in now for their DC universe. Warner Brothers is trying to go from crawling to to sprinting like yeah, a little too bit too soon. soon. I think, all right, fine, we get it. You did that cameo with Aquaman. You did the cameo with Flash. That little scene where it has Flash come back in time and mm -hmm. tell Bruce stuff. That yeah. was a little bit like confusing. I get it because we're comic fans. We, we sort of know where it's going, but at the same time, we're like... Well, right. I just got confused in those dream <coughs> sequences. Um, yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, I just got confused. Like, it would sort of show Bruce Wayne sitting or standing around, and all of a sudden it's like this weird, you know, dream yeah. sequence thing that you don't really understand that it's a dream until he's, you know, jolting awake, and you're like, oh, that was a dream. Like, it happened four times? It's just, yeah, ugh, it was just like, I just kept getting really confused. I don't, I don't like being confused. And it's it's tough, but at the same time, I'm just like, yeah, freaking whatever. I'll like, go with it. I'll like go you with said, it. Uh, if you're a comic fan, you you 
get you understand it you know what it, what references it means and 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 we're fans of superman wonder woman like we're, we're fans of the dc universe we're fans of the marvel universe we're fans of comic movies i want this to make a lot of money so warner brothers doesn't go oh uh reboot yeah. I want to see this, like, you know, have a follow-up. I want to see it get a sequel, like World's Finest, where we get to see Batman and Superman both on the case, <laughs> taking down a bad guy. Director. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Zack Snyder, he's he's had his fill. It's yeah. like two movies in, time to go. New one, please. Yeah, and, and I mean, there's so many, like, great directors out there that have great ideas. You know, Give roll the dice. To, take a shot at you know their betrayal of superman and batman because it'll be far different to this mm. maybe when if uh say superman does come back from the dead and all that kind of stuff you can actually make him that boy he's scout. coming back yeah, making he... that boy scout where he's like that's it no no more killing that's it there's you know i had big issues with batman having guns on his car and actually killing a lot of people in this movie <laughs> yeah I, I I think yeah we we need a little bit more nicer Superman yeah. but like yeah I I love Henry Cavill mm -hmm. I love this portrayal of these guys now it's going to be interesting seeing how this Batman goes and stuff but um yeah that's kind of what I think I I, I covered certain things of the movie yeah. is there anything you're missing like um maybe just Lex Luthor is absolutely mental and didn't really fit the role but. Other than that, <laughs> Jesse Eisenberg didn't. Movie. He didn't sell it, it to me. Yeah, I, I mean it's a good movie. Go see it. I want to see it make a lot of money because the reviews are like killing it, which is horrible. And this isn't a bad review. This is just an honest review. Mm. I did enjoy this movie. I did come away from it saying, you know, that was interesting. It was different. Well, we did get excited at, at moments and things like that, so it's definitely worth seeing in the cinema. And, yeah, I think um, maybe we will see it again. Yeah. I want to see it again because I know there's a few things that I've missed, but I know the Blu-ray is going to be an extended version and yeah. that's going to be something that we're hanging out to see. But let us know what you think. Uh, you can look us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, yeah. Just let us know what your thoughts are in the comments below and if you agree with us or if... If you, you disagree, view. yeah, that's great because need someone to talk this damn movie up because <laughs> it's, good. it's not bad it's not terrible and and just as much as we suck at reviewing it please like you know by all means uh, criticize us because no. <laughs> hell i i feel i feel dirty just like you know being horrible about this because i love these characters so much mm. but um yeah just let us know what you think and um yeah thanks for watching thanks bye, bye.